We don't have time today, but he's a great piano player as well, and a, not a bad singer, but more important, a great American. Thank you for electing him, our state auditor, my friend, David Yost. Pat's uh, my congressman. How about Pat Tiberi, huh? He fights for us. How great is it to be here where they make stuff? Right here in Ohio, huh? And I'll tell you what, manufacturing are coming back to Ohio, and jobs are coming back to Ohio, and after next Tuesday, better days are coming. Look, on the way over here, I, I was listening to the radio, and our former president came on, uh, a guy named Bill Clinton. And, uh, let me steal a line here. Don't boo, vote. <laughs> but he, he was uh, trying to get the crowd fired up, and I guess he I guess maybe the match was you know, not quite working for him, because he said, you know, <laughs> I, I guess maybe I'm the old American. <laughs> in the country that's more excited this year about Barack Obama than four years ago. But I am. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I was thinking, you know, Mr. President, you, you really might be the only one who's more excited than four years ago. But let me tell you, America is excited about Mitt Romney. Now, last week, the president summed this whole election up. He said, you know, it really comes down to a matter of trust. I, I couldn't believe that he actually was willing to frame the election like that, but that's what he said. You can look it up. So I'm thinking about 2009 when he took office, and he promised us that by the end of his first term, Unemployment would be 5.3%. This morning, the Department of Labor told us it was 7.9%. Let me ask you, who do you trust? You know, when Mitt Romney was governor in Massachusetts, unemployment went down on his watch, jobs went up. Who do you trust? You betcha. I remember our president telling us that he would have the mo that he would have a post-partisan president. You remember this? I, 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 I loved the words at the time. I, I was concerned that he didn't believe them, but he, he talked about there's not blue states and red states. There's just Americans. And you know what? He said something that was true. He just didn't govern that way. But instead of giving a post-partisan presidency, Folks, we can look backwards and see that it is a most partisan presidency. But we can look back on the record of Governor Romney, who reached across the aisle, who kept his veto pen at the ready. Nobody ran over him. But he was ready to work with the other side, and he got real things done for Massachusetts. He'll take that record and that know-how to Washington and do the same for America. Let me ask you again, who do you trust? Who do you trust? Who are you going to vote for on Tuesday? Yes, sir! And folks, the Romney is in the house. He will be out here in just a couple of minutes. Please, Paige, let's hear it for the next president of the United States.